hi guys so welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you guys how to make some delicious green chile smothered burritos so in case you guys want to learn how to make this super easy and delicious recipe just stay tuned and i'll show you how Alrighty guys so let's get started with our ingredients so for the recipe we're going to need three pounds of pork shoulder rolls 15 tomatillos six anaheim or hatch chilies five chile serranos or jalapenos one half of white onion three garlic cloves a half of a bunch of cilantro your choice of beans your choice of rice, large burrito tortillas, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of cumin, black pepper, chicken bouillon, and salt. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right, so first we're going to start by cutting our meat into small cubes. Okay, so just cut it like that. And just cut your meat about one inch thick. So two fingers. All right, so once we have our meat all nicely cut, we're going to season it with salt. Sprinkle it. And pepper. Okay, so once we have that, we're going to wash our hands, make sure you wash them real good, and then we're going to set it to the side so we can start working on our chili sauce. All right, so in a large saucepan, we're going to place our tomatillos. Make sure that you wash them before you place them in here, as long with our chile serranos. We're going to add enough water to cover it. And now we're going to set it on our stove. Okay, so we're going to set it on high heat, and now we're going to wait for it to come to a boil and leave them in there until the tomatillos change color. All right, so in our comal, we're going to place our Anaheim peppers and we're just going to roast them. All right, guys, so once your chilies have fully roasted and as you can see, they have changed color, we're going to remove them from the comal and place them in a little bowl or in a big bowl, a bowl big enough where you, all your chilies are going to fit. So I'm just going to cover it with foil and let them sweat. So just leave them in there for about 10 to 15 minutes. All right guys, so once our tomatillos have changed color, just like that, we're going to transfer them into our blender cup. You don't want to overcook your tomatillos, otherwise we're going to end up with a bitter sauce. All right, so after 10 minutes, we're going to start to peel our chiles. So just remove all that. And I'm going to also remove the stem. So open it. All right, so once you peel it, remove the seeds and then transfer it in your blender. All right, so once we have peeled and removed the seeds from our Anaheim peppers, we're going to transfer them in the blender cup along with the tomatillos and chile serranos. We're also going to add our bunch of cilantro, our half a onion, our three garlic cloves, half a teaspoon of black pepper, Oregano, our cumin, and two tablespoons of chicken bouillon. We're also going to add three cups of water. And you can use the tomatillo water that you, we boiled our tomatillo. So now we're going to blend everything together until we have a smooth green sauce. Okay, once we have our sauce, we are ready to cook. All right, so in a large frying pan, we're going to set it on medium-high heat. Once it heats up, we're going to throw in our meat. Okay. 
we're going to cook it with one cup of water. So we're going to leave it until the whole water has evaporated. All right, so after a few minutes, make sure that you move your meat around. Alright guys, so after 15 to 20 minutes, your meat should look like this. As you can see, we no longer have no water. So now I'm going to add a little bit of oil, just like that. And we're going to fry it for about five minutes. Alright guys, so after five minutes, we're going to add our green sauce. I'm going to add about another half a cup of water into my blender. And I'll give it a quick mix. Okay, try it for salt. I'm just going to add a little bit more of the chicken bouillon. Just mix it all. Okay, I'm going to lower down the setting to the lowest setting on my stove. I'm going to cover it and let it cook for about 30 to 35 minutes. Okay, right, so after 35 minutes, we're going to take a look at our meat, make sure that it is fully cooked. Give it a quick mix. Grab one piece of meat. As you can see, it's super tender, so it is done. So now I'm just going to turn it off. And at this point, you can leave it, if you're gonna serve it like this, then you can leave it like that and serve it with your rice and beans. But since we're making burritos, we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. All right guys, since we're going to be putting our burritos in the oven, we're gonna need a baking dish. Okay, and also forget to mention that we're going to need 12 ounces of Oaxaca cheese. Okay, so I'm going to grab my baking dish and I'm going to grab about one cup of the chile. I'm just spread it in there. Move your sauce around. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my tortillas and start making my burritos. All right, so I buy my tortillas at Food City, so they're super soft, so I don't have to uh, microwave them. So first I'm going to start by placing some of the rice in the middle. And then my pinto beans. And I will leave the links in the description box because I already have a video for all that. And then we're going to grab our meat, strain it, and start placing it on top of your beans. Okay. I'm going to fold the ends, I'm going to grab everything in there and roll. And now we're going to place it in our baking dish. And now we're going to repeat the process until we have reached the desired amount of burritos that we're making. All right, so once we fill our baking dish with our burritos, we're going to cover them with our green sauce. And I was able to make six large burritos. So now I'm just going to top them with our cheese. All 
All right, so now we're going to place them in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes or until the cheese has fully melted. All right guys, so after eight minutes, our cheese has completely melted. So now we are ready to serve. Okay, so we're going to grab extra sauce and we're going to place it on our plate where our burrito is going to be laying on. Just like that. Okay, so now we're going to cut into our burrito. Okay, and scoop it out. And place it on top. Okay, right, so now we're going to drizzle more of our green sauce on top of our burrito. And now we're going to grab our crema mexicana and drizzle it all around. And now we are ready to enjoy. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. I'm going to cut mine in half. My mouth is so watery. More of the sauce. delicious and the sauce is not hot you guys I think it's just perfect everything combined is just delicious alrighty guys and there you have it how I make some super easy and delicious green chili smother burritos I hope you guys enjoyed your watching this video and if you did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up share it with your friends and family and if you ever create this recipe please don't forget to tag me at any of my social medias and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies, tú pasas de mi nivel, tú tienes el piquete, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami. De la forma que tú besas, mami, más simétrica que un origami. Eres perfecta.